Okay, um, I'm sure you've seen some videos on YouTube where uh, some elderly master is standing there like this and guy after guy comes running up and he just seems to touch them a little bit and they go flying left and right and uh, there seems to be two camps as far as the comments on these videos. Usually they're, oh, that's bullshit, chi magic. Those are just like a bunch of uh, compliant students who are cooperating and just taking dives left and right. And the other school is, oh, you don't understand chi. It's all chi and his power is, you know, he could kill you at any minute. And, um, I'd like to demonstrate a little bit my take on this, which is just that uh, they're both right. The students are complying in a certain kind of way, and the person's skill is usually very good as well. Um, but let's cover some basics of pushing, like when someone just comes up to push another person. So John here is going to help me out. If I'm going to push him with any effectiveness, I need to think of three points, and those points have to be lined up towards him. One is the contact with the ground with my loaded leg. The other is my center of gravity, and the other is my contact with him. If those points aren't lined up and connected, the push won't work. For instance, one, two, and three is all soft here. When I push, nothing happens, see? Or this is all strong, but my, my point to the ground is underneath my center, directly underneath it. So all I can do is my arm push, right? So I have to line these things up, one, two, three. They would be in a line if you were looking at me from above. My point of contact with the ground, my center of gravity, and my contact with my, with my opponent or my partner here. When these things are lined up and firm, I can then push him. And notice I don't use a lot of arm strength. I don't need a lot of arm strength. My legs are much stronger than my arms. So I'm not going, like with my arms here, I'm, if you watch my elbow, <clears throat> it'll hardly straighten at all. So it's coming from my legs. <coughs> it's a dusty day out here. Like that. So those points have to be lined up. Now the trick is, his points have to be lined up too. If, if I push here and my three are lined up and he's managed to keep this soft and loose and, and, and not connect it to his center, see, there. You don't even have to use the arms down there. See, it just, he won't go as far because he's absorbing it there. So if I can connect this with his center and then move his leg, there's the push, see? So I have to take my one, two, three and connect it to his one, two, three in order to move his feet and make it move. So that's just what we call uh, the, just the physics of a basic punch or a basic push. A punch is similar. One, two, three. They have to line up. This won't work, right? That won't work, but they have to line up. So. Um, that's what happens when, when somebody pushes somebody else. So now we're going to switch uh, places and I'm going to show you the next segment of this. Okay, now John's behind the camera and I have Neil to demonstrate. I'm going to teach Neil to be the elderly Tai Chi master who just stands there and seems to make people go flying. And I'll show you how what he's doing takes skill and I'll show you how what I'm doing helps him because I'm cooperating a little bit. So let's match each other a little bit. Now when I come up and push, remember I've got a line up one, two, three with him and he's got one, two, three lined up too, if I'm going to push him. The trick is, when I line up my three points and connect them in order to push him, my three points are lined up for him to push me. It's like when I aim a gun at somebody, they could shoot a bullet into, <laughs> into my gun like they do in the cartoons. So here's the deal. I'm going to signal this push. When I go like that and push him, I'm going to signal it strongly. I'm just going to ask Neil to bring his hands up and push me. So I'm going to go like that, you see? So what happens is, my one, two, three get lined up, and just as I push, he pushes back. Just as I do that, he firms and pushes me before I get off my runway. I've just started my plane and I get pushed back. So when I come up and do this, boom, he pushes me. So his timing's gotta be good. If I'm sneakier, it's harder. Notice I got him a little bit there. If I come up and up, see, I got him. So see if you can time it out so that, there, that was a good one, see that? So I go to push, boom, I get pushed. Now his timing is good, so that's nice. Now, what I'm doing is I'm firming up my structure so that his little bounce back push goes through my body. That's where the students are cooperating in those videos. They're maintaining their structure so that that force goes back through their whole body and makes them move. It doesn't work if they're not compliant in this way. For instance, I'll give him the push, just going to give you the same push and do the same timing and watch. See? 
I just yielded at that moment. When I push, big deal. It's when he pushes, see? I firm myself, I firm my structure, and you can see that force going through. So yes, his timing does have to be good. He has to feel me coming in, feel me setting up, and go right when I push. And yes, I'm exaggerating this, but his timing does have to be good. And for him to do this under more and more and more and different and more difficult situations really does take some skill. If I suddenly go like this, and he has to time it so that right there he gets me, then that takes some real skill. And I'm being cooperative. I'm showing, I'm, I'm firming my structure to allow that force to go through. So in my opinion, this kind of stuff is not magic in the sense that it's some mystical blue chi energy circulating through the body and he doesn't need any effort or any, anything but chi to move me. And at the same time, um, uh, you know, this stuff is very difficult to do when someone's really coming at you. So like, if you, uh, Neil, do, do the timing thing. So if I just go, boom, see, it doesn't work because I really jumped in and did it. <laughs> right? But, but that's, a, that's a strong, sudden push. Most of the time, these students are coming up to the master like this. <laughs> and they get pushed. Like, oh, I come here. Oh, I come here. Oh, they get pushed away. Because every time I push, he gets in, my, in the way of my, you know, he gets in the way of my thing. So it's not magic. It's not mystical magic. It is magic in a way. Because this wet blob of matter in his head, his computer, his brain, is able to read my signals coming in, send various electrical signals to various liquid parts of his body that connect and disturb my timing and make me go. That is pretty magical. But it's just physics. He's got the leverage, he's got the jump, he's got the timing and the alignment, and my push just goes right into myself. See? I pushed myself away because I was committed. Bam! If you're really, really good over there, you can do this under all kinds of circumstances and all kinds of attacks. You can do it with a punch so that you jam the punch so that it can like that, like that. So I go to punch and I get, I get blasted off like that. That can, that can work too. But uh, it's not magic, it's physics. So uh, thank you. Enjoy your practice and have fun with this kind of stuff. Another factor in the um, in the cooperation of the students is that they're usually coming up and giving giving the, the master a pretty um, telegraphed push. Like they're coming up and making it pretty clear what they're doing and then the master bounces it back at them. Um, that gets harder to do when people are really good at concealing their pushes. I mean, every push or strike is telegraphed. You can't not telegraph at all, but some people's telegraph or, or signal that they're about to punch is so small that you can't even notice it. So. A lot of times in those demos, the students are being helpful in that they're coming up and giving a clear push that the, that the master can then judge and, and push back. What gets really hard is being able to do that when a person's being sneaky and quick and just doing it out of nowhere. But um, the skill is exactly the same. Read the push, notice when they're lining up, connect to them and push them back before they can push you. So uh, it's still the same, but it gets harder as uh, people are less and less cooperative.